Now, you can find a lot of these guys in your used marketplace or even at AliExpress. It's pretty cheap at around $165. We're almost at the end of the year and I want to find out if this is a good value option, especially for those who are into multiplayer shooters, which require fast response time and better stability when gaming. So we're going to put this guy up, our Elsa RX 5700 non-XT into our Ryzen 5800 X3D rig. All benchmarks are recorded using an external capture card on a separate PC. So what you see is actually what you're going to get. And to establish a point of reference, we're also going to compare this against NVIDIA's most popular card, the RTX 3060, 12 gigabyte, and that's about $280. Let's see if that $120 premium is actually worth it. Okay, let's go. The first game we're testing is Warzone. This is a pretty complex game, which depends on multiple hardware components. It has an update coming up with the Black Ops 6 integration probably soon. So in this case, we are currently GPU bottleneck even at competitive settings. FPS is around 120 with lows at around 80. There are some micro stutters in here, but it's really nothing major. This is actually a really good experience. In our Gulag, the lows do bump up a little bit. That's because it's a much more smaller space and no issues at all. I'm actually pretty happy with the RX 5700's uh, performance and Warzone. Helldivers 2 is one of our 2024 games in our benchmark suite, which although isn't PvP, it still requires substantial resources from both our CPU and GPU. On the real world scenario, low settings, we are GPU bottleneck. This is running native 1080p on super hell dive difficulty. That's level 10 difficulty with a lot of bugs swarming. So we're getting about 90 FPS with lows around 80. That's actually pretty good. GPU is pretty cool too at 55 degrees, up to about 108 watts for its GPU power. Even though we've got multiple effects in here, swarms of bugs and this really high difficulty difficulty level the experience is fairly decent uh, we have no issues killing those terminated bugs with this GPU. Apex Legends is a fast-paced shooter with a maximum FPS cap of 300. We are running EX11 API here. Similar story with Helldive is too, we are GPU bottleneck here. FPS is around 200 outside, but goes a little bit higher or lower depending on the situation. The lows is just around 150 frame times are pretty stable despite multiple effects. And, and although we were completely slaughtered in this game, this is still a pretty decent gaming experience. Moving on to our games, which requires a whole lot of FPS. And first up is Fortnite chapter 2 remix now there's a lot of misconception with this game people think that it doesn't require much resource now guys this game runs on unreal engine 5 and although you can run performance mode on this you actually require a whole lot of fps to be competitive in those build fights so in performance mode 1080p we are not gpu bottleneck here a processor can actually push more frames 450 fps frame rate lows at around 300 the frame times are mostly good we do get those frame time spikes sometimes but it's actually not bad overall the experience is very good with our rx 5700 now for our fortnite players here's all three apis compared using the rx 5700 performance mode is clearly the most obvious choice here it will be really interesting to see how this one stacks up against our RTX 3060 12 gigabyte later on. Next up is Valorant and this game runs on PX11 API. Also requires a whole lot of FPS to be competitive. Like Fortnite, we are not GPU bottleneck here. Our processor is able to push for higher frames, 450 FPS. Now we have disabled the low metrics in here as it tends to be affected when we use abilities like Omen's Shadow Realm. Amazing experience, buttery smooth. We'll see later on if this is actually better compared to the RTX 3060. Figure out which one has better driver overhead. PUBG is another popular game in Steam. It's a slow paced game compared to our other games. We are using DX11 Enhanced API here. We are clearly GPU bottleneck here, even at 1080p competitive settings. 150 FPS, that's our frame rate. The lows are pretty good. Considering we are 
hot dropping here in Pachinki. Frame times are also very good. Now, in close quarter combat, it's actually very smooth. No stutters here. And we even managed to finish this squad off. Yeah. Guess we are ratting out, but a win is a win. Next game is Arena Breakout Infinite, one of our 2024 titles. This one's a looter shooter. It's free to play currently on Early Access. Season 1 is going to be live later this month. We're running 1080p competitive settings here. No upscaling applied. Now, the map of choice is Valley. This is the biggest map in Arena Breakout Infinite with a lot of vegetation and it's very taxing to our hardware components. Obviously, we are GPU bottleneck in here. AP if he is lows at around 60. It's a slow paced game, so this is so like good enough we may need to disable sharpening in here as it tends to be a bit distorted with the in-game sharpening settings overall it's decent but it's okay it's okay now let's see how the rx 5700 compares against the rtx 3060 12 gigabyte which is 120 dollars more expensive and let's start off with warzone it's actually pretty close in here you have slightly higher lows and if he is on the rtx 3060 but it's actually not that high the rx 5700 is pretty competitive here and look at that it doesn't even require a whole lot of power too you're trading efficiency for a slight bump in performance is that worth $120 let me know in the comment section but for me I think nah probably not right probably not that's too expensive for hell divers too it's definitely a different story here we are both cheap you bottleneck but the RTX 3612 gigabyte definitely pulls higher FPS and better lows likewise it also pulls more power right more power more performance maybe the 0.1% lows do go to the RX 5700 and I think that this may be due to the temperatures maybe maybe fortnite is a totally different story honestly amd has made really good strides with fortnite's performance mode the lows are just amazing with our rx 5700 compared to the more popular 3060 i can't believe when i say this but dang amd you are killing it on this one if you're on a budget the rx 5700 is actually a good choice for fortnite's performance mode compared to the rtx 3060 which is 120 dollars more for the x12 API, it's pretty obvious the RTX 3060 would dominate here as this API requires a lot more performance from the GPU and this is an expected result in Valorant this one tells a different story too it seems like the RX 5700 is just slightly better here when we are doing the running benchmark it also doesn't require much power now this is the same scenario when we go for our heavier action scene the RX 5700 is just much more stable here compared to the RTX 3060. Dang, that's a win for AMD, which this one usually gets dominated by our Nvidia cards. In PUBG, this one's another unexpected result. Now, even though we are getting more FPS with the RTX 3060, we are more stable with our AMD card. And for competitive play, I would always favor stability compared to higher FPS, right? Stability is a big factor for precision. In our heavier action scene it seems like to be similar as well we are getting better results with our x5700 in terms of the lows this is very unexpected oh before i forget our elsa rx5700 do have a bios switch in here now i've tried this bios switch and it's basically the same bios so there's actually no performance difference between the two so yeah when you look at it the rx5700 non-xt is actually an amazing guy the performance it gives in relation to this price is just amazing oh by the way i've ordered a ryzen 9800 x3d processor i'm really interested in that processor and see how that one performs on our multiplayer scooters with real world competitive settings i know i'm probably not going to financially recover from that but we will be able to do more test things if you are interested in that subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video